So Lucas, you, you walk in here today, you walk down behind the range, there's faces of all the uh, past champions here, Tigers there, Ernie Owls. What's it like seeing your face up there with those type of names? Uh, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I looked the way I did in the photos, but no, nah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, to get your name obviously on the trophy with those other names and then to see the, uh, the other photos of all the other players that are um, that have won here and um, obviously had success here, it's like it's pretty cool to sort of add to that list. And, you know, even the past 12 months, it feels like, um, you know, it almost feels like a European to a major I've won. Uh, everyone, everyone seems to recognise the fact that I won the Omega Dubai Desert Classic. Um, seems like such an iconic event on the European Tour, so it's pretty cool. Is there a certain spring in your step knowing you've done well around this golf course as you set up this year? Yeah, I mean, for sure. The fact that I'm defending champion as well as, yeah, just it's just good vibes at this place. I've played well here um, in years gone by and, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's just a golf course that sets up really well for me and it's just a really cool um, skyline there with Dubai right here and, you know, there's just so much to enjoy about this place. I'll tell you back to last year, you worked really hard to get into that playoff for those two birdies at the end. What was your thoughts heading into that playoff? Uh, I felt pretty confident. I knew that I was probably going to be longer than Christian off the tee, so going for the green in two was probably going to be more of an option for me than it was for him. Um, so, yeah, I felt like I felt confident, um, but it's just, I mean, it, when it comes down to one hole to decide a tournament, you can't really um, expect it to go your way every single time, so there's still plenty of nerves going. Let's talk about that first hole, because you said it's the worst shot you've ever hit. You still rate it as the worst shot you've ever hit into the water? Oh, I mean, it's probably up there, but that was probably finding lines to say that weren't going to get me uh, fined from the tour as well. But... Um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't uh, one to remember that shot, but then I mean, followed up with the next shot was uh, was very pleasing. What do you think that win's done for your career? Um, I mean, it's done a lot uh, in terms of like my, my my confidence has gone um, has gone sky high pretty much since I won uh, won here last year, and it, it felt like it propelled me through the rest of the year. I felt you know just felt like I was a different golfer um, after winning here. Uh, I mean, financially it was great um, great help, and then. You know, obviously, with some starts that you get off the back of winning this event and and winning, oh, well, and being a highly ranked player and race to buy points and everything like that, um, yeah, it's you know, I'm still feeling the, the flow and effects from it now, which is great. I noticed in Abu Dhabi last week, you seem to be striking the ball really well on the range and, mm -hmm. and through those first couple of rounds. Like at this next stat, do you feel confident heading into this year? Yeah, I mean, I feel like now when I come out here in Europe, I'm, I'm definitely a good enough player to be able to win any week, um, and. You know, if I feel like I'm not contending, then I'm probably, you know, something's something's not going right with my game. So, yeah, I mean, I've got that that inner confidence um, to know that's where I, you know, deserve to be every week. And um, yeah, it's it's a nice feeling to come out here and, and have that. And what about Dubai as a city? I don't know how how much time you spent out here, but what a place to play, to come and play golf as well. I love it. Um, I mean, obviously this year it's almost frustrating being in a bubble. Um, we can't really go out and enjoy it, you know, over night time or anything, but. Uh, I'm sure after we're done on Sunday, I'll I'll go and uh, and check it out because uh, yeah, I, I love being here. Um, you know, it's such a great spot in the desert. It's you know, it uses the the marina there so well. Um, the skyline, you know, the restaurants, the cars that drive past. I think it's just an awesome place to be.